and welcome to the OCR Further Maths videos for Pure Core. This is Calculus 5, Volumes of Revolution and Mean of a Function. This is video 5.4, Curves Defined Parametrically. So you will have seen parametric curves in A-level maths. If you've not covered that yet, it's best that you come back to this later so that you've got a bit more experience with them. But here we have a curve written in terms of the parameter t. So as t varies, both x and y vary, and this is the curve here. Now we can find the volume of revolution for this. We have a couple of options. We could change to Cartesian coordinates and then do it the way that we've been doing before. But actually, it's often easier to just work with the parametric form and do the volume of revolution straight from there. Okay, so we're just going to do this by example. So we've got a region bounded by the curve x equals t squared y equals 2 minus t, the x-axis and the lines x equals 0 and x equals 4. And it's rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis and we want to find the volume of the solid formed. So we know what the volume of revolution formula is. It's up here. But in this case, we want to do it in terms of the parameter t. So y is in terms of t, this bit's fine, but we're going to need to change so that we can integrate with respect to t. We're going to do that by doing the volume will be the integral between a and b of pi y squared times dx dt dt. And by doing this, we can change it from an integration with respect to x to an integration with respect to t. Now remember, our limits here are in terms of x, so we're going to need to change them so they're limits in terms of t because our integration is going to be with respect to t. So when x equals 0, t equals 0, and when x equals 4, t equals 2. So our volume, oh, and the last thing that we need is we need to know what dx dt is. We know that x is t squared, so dx dt must be 2t. So now we can do our volume between 0 and 2 of pi times y squared, y is 2 minus t, times our dx dt with respect to t. So our volume is going to be the integral between 0 and 2 of 8t minus 8t squared plus 2t cubed with respect to t. When we do that integration, we get 4t squared minus 8t cubed over 3. plus t to the 4 over 2 between 0 and 2. And if you do your substitutions, you should find that your volume is 8 pi over 3. So what we need to make sure we remember here, again, it's making sure that we are integrating with respect to the right thing, that our limits are in terms of t, and that our integral contains just t. Okay, the last video in this section will be 5.5 mean of a function.